uncertainty. It's all around us. Yet, every day we make decisions and we get through the day somehow, even though we don't know a lot of things. Just how do we do this? Hi guys. In our last video, I introduced you to the concept of uncertainty. And I promised that next time we would talk about the uncertainty of everyday life. But to do this, let's go on a road trip. But first, let's make a plan. Do we have to make a plan? Yes, we do, because plans are cool. What we do know is that we want to meet a friend across town to have a cup of coffee with him at two o'clock so we can pick up our son from school at three. Thanks, Dad. So, what do we have to do to make this happen? And when do we have to leave? To work that out, we must think about what we know, but also about what we do not know. We do know at peak hour it can take up to 30 minutes to get from our house to the cafe. We do also know that if we floor it and ignore all health and safety limits, we can get there in 10 minutes. What are we uncertain about? Many things. The amount of traffic. The weather conditions. It might be hard to get a parking spot. Um, and our friend is often late. <laughs> and our, friend, our son might forget again um, that we've actually picking him up. That only happened the one time, I yeah, swear. Yeah, right. What can we do to deal with that uncertainty? Well, we could get some more information. For example, if we don't know if the car's available, we could call up. Hey, uh, do you need the car this afternoon? No? Awesome! Um, anything on the weather radar? We had floods. Um, no, I don't think rain or frogs is a thing. Okay. Or we could get some more reliable friends. You yeah. have very weird friends, Dad. Well, maybe we instead we could get a more reliable son. But there's still a lot that we don't know about. And what do we do about this? Well, one thing we can do is we can make some assumptions. We can say if we add 10 minutes to the slowest travel time, we'll be pretty sure to get there. So if we leave, 40 minutes before 2, we should be pretty safe. But let's say, instead of having a cup of coffee with a friend, we decide that we have to go to a job interview. To be on time for a job interview is much more important to us than being on time for having a cup of coffee with a friend who is anyway always late. So, what do we do? To be extra cautious, we might leave an hour before the interview starts, so we get there with plenty of time in to spare, we relaxed and we're very, very safe. But could uncertainty work in our favor? Let's say we had a friend who was a policeman. Is that the friend that gave you a parking ticket? Yes, that's the one. And let's say he's got a police car and he can get us there in five minutes with sirens blaring, as long as we promise not to reveal anything to internal affairs. Your friends are so weird, Dad. Thanks, whatever. In this scenario, we can leave five minutes before two to get there and still be there on time for our job interview. But we might not want to rely on a scenario that's so highly unlikely. And on top of that, there are a number of things we don't know about it. There are unknowns we don't know about. For example, there might be a, a, a burst gas line or a giant monster might come and eat the car. What can we say at the end of this? Well, firstly, we make decisions every day, even though we don't know everything. We don't have to know everything to make decisions. 
Some unknown things are okay. We survive. The things we do know can work for us or they can work against us. That's point two. Point three, we can make uncertainty go away, but only to some extent, by getting more information or more data, if you want to call that. But there always will be some things, point four, which we cannot know. They're unknown unknowns, but we can't plan for them because we don't know. And that's okay. We still make decisions because in the end, we work out how likely things we don't know are to mess up our day, how serious the uncertainty is. Then we think about the consequences of that and make a decision on just how cautious we need to be under the circumstance. In our next episode, we will talk about the very special role uncertainty plays in science and what scientists mean when they talk about uncertainty. Remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel below so you don't miss it. And leave any comments about uncertainty that you want to share with us or anything you would like us to cover in this channel. So be safe till I see you next. And remember, nothing is certain except uncertainty. Cassian.